Hey guys, Casper here from the Geeko. Um, just another video regarding uh, Magic the Gathering. This time it's not a uh, rant video or a complaint video for the most part. Um, so yeah, this time I'm just taking a bit of a quick look at the Duskmorn, which is the next upcoming exciting uh, Magic set coming out next month in September. Uh, Pre-releases are like on the weekend of the 20th of September releases, technically the weekend after that, although the OP in stores can kind of sell stuff earlier, it's a bit weird. Um, so yeah, Duskmorn is pretty much a set based on modern horror. So it has like a whole modern horror theme. Uh, there's a whole thing involving people going through TVs, whatever, I don't know. Ta Tamir's son gets lost through a portal and then ends up in Duskborn, which is a house, but also a plane as far as I understand it. I'm not a lore guy with magic, so don't take my word on any of that. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty interesting. It's obviously a very horror set. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at some of the stuff for it, uh, some of the previews, and then uh, yeah, you can check out our pre-orders on our website, geekhome.co.za, or you can obviously pre-order in store, but check it out on our website, geekhome.co.za, we are running pre-orders for it now, uh, so yeah, just one moment. So yeah, here we have uh, some of the Dustbomb preview stuff, this is an article that came out a while ago, this is by Wizards of the Coast, this was the original sort of preview of Duskmorn. Uh, like you can see, it's uh, uh, very modern horror stuff, so you have all kinds of weird things like the, I don't know what those are, some kind of detector or something I'm guessing. Um, but anyway, so that's very reminiscent of Evil Dead, obviously. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to have a lot of references stuff and stuff like that into in it, probably some Stranger Things, maybe um, The Ring. Um, guessing type of references like that type of stuff that we're going to be seeing a lot of as you can see by the artwork uh, which looks pretty nice I think uh, I think they're eating the idea of the set in terms of the look looks great whether or not you're into the concept behind it I don't know but it looks pretty interesting this is the logo this morning and then obviously we have the um, TV sort of concept coming in there with like distorting house of horror and then we have our set, set symbols there, uh, basic set symbols, that says the star one is the special guest sort of symbol thing. Um, and then, yeah, the commander symbol is the one with the white stuff, and then the normal one is the one just, is basically that one. Um, so basically it's a normal set, so it will contain uh, play boosters like that it will have collector boosters obviously and then it will also have com four different commander decks I guess it's not always four different commander decks of most, but recently they seem to have been bringing out four decks of every set now um, I'm not sure if that's like an official change or it might be different at some point again but anyway there's four decks for it so we have a uh, blue uh, white and black miracle worker we have a uh, black and green death toll uh, we have uh, green blue jump scare and then we have black red endless punishment so far I think endless punishment seems to be the one that the most people are going for but um, I think we're still waiting for a lot of spoilers the first spoilers well the, the spoil proper spoiler season for this start on 1 September there's obviously already been some cards spoiled um, this is obviously the bundle with the uh, theoretically oversized dice. Uh, then you have another bundle, which is the Nightmare Bundle, which is a special edition bundle, kind of like a gift bundle with its own type of dice. And then you obviously have the pre-release kit, which is the kit we use in the pre-release. And it's obviously quite good value usually because you need the uh, two extra boosters with that. Um, so... In terms of the cards, there's not that many yet. I know there's a bit more than this that will be on the, then will be on this list, but uh, there's a couple of things they show, like Twitching Doll, which is the buy box promo, uh, which means if you buy booster box, play boosters, you get one of those, or collector boosters, 
the lands look pretty nice, uh, pretty interesting. It's like the inside of a house, obviously, so it's a bit weird, you know, having a, an island inside a house, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, so land art looks pretty interesting. Full arts now. I think we're getting less, like full arts of every set. No, no, so lands are just full arts now. Anyway, um, and then we have like some uh, double-faced cards uh, or double exposure and texture double f exposure cards. That's only not double-faced. That's specific other type of thing. Um, so I guess the idea with this is like it's a camera thing. You know that whole thing where if you take a photo you can see a ghost that whole thing obviously um, so it looks pretty nice um, I'm not gonna go into the exact mechanics of everything right now uh, you can read these cards and figure out the mechanics for yourself I'm sure you, you, you're more capable of doing that watching this video I presume you are the pinnacle of based magic players um, there's paranormal frames they're doing this looks pretty interesting it's a bit weird uh, Mirror monsters. Um, so this is another camera thing, I think. Uh, and then we have Japanese J Japan showcase, which I'm guessing you can only get in collector boosters, probably. Not sure how that's gonna work. Yeah, in collector boosters, they specifically say you can get them. Um, but that's probably going to be quite hard. And then we have obviously some special guests that are going to be being this. I think they only show on its collected company here. Uh, and then there's specific mechanics like delirium, which they're bringing in, which is obviously it's a horror set, so you'll be expecting stuff like that, impending. Uh, and then there'll probably be some others also. Room cards, which is like specific rooms in the house, I presume, with specific things that happen there. Or specific. Um, mechanics um arch enemy returns that's another thing arch enemy is coming sort of back to this um yeah i'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work but yeah arch enemy is going to be a thing with uh with this so yeah anyway it looks pretty interesting um uh, let's watch the trailer then quickly concept of you know the TV is scary anyway so uh, it looks pretty interesting um, I obviously didn't look in too much into a lot of the cards now but uh, it looks pretty interesting so um, in terms of reception I think people should be into it I don't I don't know if they're gonna be into it as much as they are with Bloomborrow as such. The thing with Bloomborrow is, even though it's not like a power set, the theme is very magic. A lot of people, I think, were looking for that. Um, this goes a bit more to the other side again, with different types of things like we had already with Karloff and with with the, the whole Pluto thing, and then with Outlaws, with the Cowboys and stuff. Um, obviously with Bloomberg we also had that with the fairies, it just feels a bit more magic <laughs> with the fairland creatures. Uh, it feels a bit more magic, so um, this is a bit weirder again, but I like the style of this, the art looks really good. At the end of the day, I think this set like this is going to come down to the cards and how fun it's to play the cards and how, um, once again, I'm going to bring up fun. Um, as I always say, it needs to be fun. And then also power level of cards and things like that, if it's a bit more of a power set. Bloomborough isn't really a power set, that's the thing to me. Bit of a mid set, I guess, when it comes to the actual cards. Uh, but the f this looks pretty on point in terms of its art and stuff, and I like the look. It's a bit of a different thing, once again. I think what we should expect from Magic, for the most part, is 
things will be different than they used to be. They are trying that with the themes and seeing how people like different things. And one set will be really, you know, something you might like, and next set will probably not be. And then they'll do a more traditional thing probably also in between that. Uh, like foundations that's on the way. That's obviously, I don't know if that's going to have any theme specifically to it or story thing really attached to it, but it is going to be more like traditional magic type set because that's the entire idea behind the mechanics and stuff going to be in that set. Uh, but yeah, so if you're interested in pre-ordering Duskmon, we have it on our website, geekum.ca.za. Pre-orders are up. Um, I would suggest pre-ordering as soon as possible so you don't miss out on something that you might want. Unfortunately, there are always stock limitations on certain things. And then we will be having pre-releases on the weekend of the 20th of September at our store in Marita Park, Pretoria, Geek Home. Uh, yeah, so check it out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this slight preview. Uh, just some of the basics. Obviously, there's a lot more cards spoiled already. Um, you can just check that online, just Google, well, a bit more cards, I think, spoiled, obviously, now than I've just looked at, but, um, uh, the big spoilers starting on the 1st of September, so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and then I will see you at the store, I'll see you in the next video, cheers.